What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga Reflective Colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Soul Savvy. Soul Savvy is a membership-based community of like-minded sneakerheads with a true passion and love for sneakers. And as a member of Soul Savvy, they give you all the tools, the information, the resources you need to know what shoes are dropping when and where, and to help you attain those shoes for retail. So aside from that, there's a ton of other perks within Soul Savvy, including online training sessions to help prepare you for big sneaker releases. There's also a member-only store where they sell releases for retail, along with a member-only marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade among the community. Aside from that, there's also weekly giveaways. And most recently, they introduced something called Soul Savvy Assist. So Soul Savvy Assist is a Chrome plugin where it fills in your personal information, your credit card upon checkout. So all that's left for you to do is confirm and click purchase. And for someone like myself, I've been a member of Soul Savvy for years now. I personally find Soul Savvy to be extremely valuable because all the information and the tools I need is given to me very conveniently in one central place. So if you guys are curious to learn more about Soul Savvy and potentially join, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below. So this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga Reflective Colorway, which dropped today on December 18th. These retailed for a price of 220 US dollars or 320 Canadian, and the official colorway for this shoe is Beluga Reflective, Steeple Grey, and Solar Red. So I know most of you guys watching this know this, but the Beluga colorway was actually the debut very first colorway of the 350 V2 silhouette. And it shows you just how fast time flies because I actually reviewed the original Belugas back on this very channel five years ago. So without further ado, here's my review of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga colorway. The official worldwide release date for the shoe was today, September 24th. So yes, I was much younger, much slimmer, and I probably had nicer skin as well. But holding these in hand, I got a wave of nostalgia as Adidas gave us pretty much an identical shoe to the originals. So diving straight into the details, the upper of the shoe is constructed out of this prime knit material. So just like the OG Belugas, this knit is constructed out of a combination of this light gray, dark gray, along with solar red hits. However, the one main difference with this release is they've incorporated reflective threading within the prime knit. So it's a bit hard to see, honestly, it's a bit more toned down than your typical reflective Yeezys, but you can see it's intertwined throughout the entire upper of the shoe. Running down the center, we have that signature thicker stitch, which runs down from the tip of the toe all the way to the top of the tongue. And then on the lateral side, we have that signature side stripe, which is done in the solar red color, which in real life is much more of a vibrant neon orange. And just like the OGs, we have SPLY 350 visible on this stripe. And on both the left foot and the right foot, it's done in that normal legible way. So you see how the stripe runs all the way down to the middle of the shoe. And just like the front toe box, we have this thick stitch running down the center of the back heel. On the medial side, so there's no stripe here, but instead we have this wavy pattern, which is comprised of this darker gray knit. And this again runs from the back of the heel all the way to the tip of the toe. For the laces, so these come with your signature rope style laces in a combination of light gray and dark gray, but surprisingly, they actually didn't incorporate reflective threading within the laces themselves. And this is a one piece booty like fit, so you can see that the tongue is connected to the rest of the shoe, and we have that thick stitching running up the center. On the interior side of the back heel, we have the Adidas 3 stripes, which is pressed on in this reflective 3M material, and we have additional padding surrounding the back Achilles area, which adds to the comfort on this shoe. Taking out the insoles, these come with your typical thin foam-lined insole. It's finished with this gray fabric on top, and we have Adidas and Yeezy branding stamped on the heel in black. So the upper of the shoe sits atop a very chunky midsole, which is actually comprised of Adidas Boost technology. The Boost itself is encased within this rubber carrier, which has this ribbed look to it. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard Yeezy Boost 350 V2 outsole. So this is constructed out of this semi-translucent grey coloured rubber. We have this exposed boost on both the forefoot along with this triangular cutout on the back heel. And at the very bottom we have boost branding. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Beluga reflectives. And for those wondering how these fit, to me these fit me pretty much identical to the OG Belugas. So I personally recommend going at least a half size up. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and a half and they fit me well in a very snug way. So if you're someone that likes a lot more room in your shoes, you can even go up a full size, but by no means should you stick true to size. These do fit more snug than your recent 350 V2 releases, which have been fitting a lot more roomy and generous. Moving on to comfort, so this feels like any of your other 350 V2s. So with that said, they are very comfortable and very plush underfoot. Straight out of the box, they have that very nice pillowy feel to it. So if you're someone that prefers more of a plush and very soft feel underfoot, then you're going to love these shoes. It really feels like a sock on top and you're stepping on almost like pillows or something underneath. 
However, if you're someone that prefers more support underfoot, then you might feel that the boost is a little bit too soft and too mushy. So it all comes down to personal preference and how you personally define comfort. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so really I had no issues at all with this pair. This feels like from a material standpoint, any of your other 350 V2s. So it's mostly all just prime knit, which feels very soft and flexible. But from an overall craftsmanship and build standpoint, I didn't really have any issues at all with my pair. I thought Adidas did a pretty solid job. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace up these Beluga reflectives and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Personally, I think it's great that Adidas kind of brought these back, not exactly, but with a small twist. It satisfies the Yeezy fans that were unable to grab these when they initially released back in 2016, while at the same time giving us something a little bit different so that those of us who own the OGs can maybe justify picking this one up as well. And even though I personally don't wear the 350 V2 model that much anymore, I think this Beluga colorway will forever be a staple colorway, as it was again the debut initial colorway of this model. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Beluga Reflective Yeezy Boost 350 V2. What are your overall thoughts on this release? And for those watching, did you guys manage to grab these? Did you pass or take an L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. Before I end this video, another shout out goes out to the sponsor for today's video, Soul Savvy. Again, if you guys are interested in joining, be sure to check out that link down below. So thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. Thank you for the continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.